Welcome back to the Heal the Divide series, Awakenings, where we um, examine the narratives of people uh, during COVID times and what they reveal and maybe the meaning they might have for us all. So uh, I had um, a Podnar recently, cross between a Podnar and a webcast or webinar, podcast and a webinar. Um, you can learn all about that um, if you'd like by contacting us at Learning in Action. Anyway, uh, normally uh, during a Podnar, I interview a guest, and this time, because my guest was MIA, um, I did a piece on integrated integrating mindfulness into coaching. So before we started the Podnar, we um, we're kind of setting up in kind of like the green room before everyone arrived and someone signed on like 15 minutes early. And so I started talking with them about, uh, it was someone from Mexico City, um, uh, living in Mexico City in the same very, very similar um, situation than as the US where we're in quarantines. And uh, I was asking how he was doing and how he was coping. And, um, and he was a coach too. And he said he was still coaching and working from home and doing fine. And uh, this is where, you know, then he, he went on and he said something really wise. I'm just blown away by the wisdom of what people are saying just off the top of their heads. That he, he, he said, um, Everyone has to find their own way to peace. Oh my God, that's so true. That's just, that's so brilliant. We, it, it's true. Um, and I, I, I think that that fits so well with the, the, the topic I then went on to, to kind of speak about, which is integrating mindfulness into coaching. Because, um, at the very end of that Podnar, we did a practice um, I learned in my, my mindfulness teacher training called Vipassana Out Loud. And it's basically uh, something that like a, co a coach or a mindfulness meditation teacher would do with a, a student. So the coach, coachy, teacher, student, in which um, we ask uh, the coach ask the coachy kind of what they're experiencing if they're let's say they're having a challenging there's a challenging situation we ask them what they're experiencing how they're experiencing it in their bodies right because what what's so prevalent always and particularly now is we get we 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 become stressed by what's happening, perhaps overwhelmed by it, and our head takes over and we're thinking about what could happen, what might happen. We worry about the, the future and, and, and fear, all these experiences that are non-present. And so the first part of the Vipassana Out Loud practice is having the, um, the coachee really tune into their body and what they're experiencing right now um, and uh, describe what they're experiencing right now in the moment. Uh, and then once they've described what they're experiencing, maybe tightness in the chest, maybe pit in the stomach, maybe um, ache in the shoulders, maybe this, you know, just um, stabbing, stuckness, whatever. Um, then the coach asks the coachee the question, can you be with it? Right, and so it's a, uh, and in the pro the process of vipassana out loud is what are you experiencing and can you be with it? What are you experiencing and can you be with it? And it's one of the ways I found that um, of integrating mindfulness in the coaching and and of of being one of the ways that coaching can that mindfulness can do some things coaching really can't do uh, in the same way, um, and. Uh, that is a way in which, as a coach, you know, by using, by integrating some mindfulness techniques, we can help our coaches find their own way to peace. Right? As a coach, it's, I, I tend to want to ask all these questions that kind of lead them to finding their own answers and, 
um, what are you experiencing and how are you experiencing it and how does that relate to where you want to be in life and what's that important about that and where do you want to go and how are you going to get there right very coachy questions which is really different than um, what are you experiencing and can you be with it you know it's very different than helping our than supporting our clients finding their own way to peace which feels really um, important right now yeah so that's what's coming up for me um, what about you what's coming up for you 